Hello, this is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our September 13th, 2022 Palmer City Council meeting, which should be at six o'clock at the city chambers. So under the uh, our agenda, we've got our approval of a consent agenda, which has an action memorandum uh, number 22-049, accept a resignation for our Parks and Rec Penny Mosher. Um, she basically applied for our planning and zoning. And so once she got on planning and zoning, she's resigning off the Parks and Rec. So we are accepting a resignation, which then opens it up so there's a slot. So I will be doing interviews to fill a spot on the Parks and Rec board. And there's also an ordinance number 22-007, amending the City of Palmer Municipal Code 3.12.032 residential real property exemption. Um, but that's, that's in the consent agenda. So that is kind of a first reading. It gets it all. So it's in the packet. The public can all read it. And then we'll be looking at it at our second reading in September. For communications and appearances, we actually have two presentations. One is the City of Palmer 2021 audit presentation by Joy Mariner from Managing Partner of BDO USA. And that lets us know how we're doing financially as well as how we're doing at keeping track of our finances. The second communications and appearance will be Carla Swick and Tanya Lang talking about our sister city program with Seroma. I believe the students are planning a trip uh, beginning of next year, or maybe it's in the spring of 2023. Then we also have uh, reports. City manager report has an information memorandum 22-006, uh, a right-of-way improvement project and community forums. I believe that's about the railroad right-of-way. Uh, mayor's report we've got a proclamation for childhood cancer awareness week the end of september beginning of october then we have the uh, the first audience participation for the evening and after that is uh, public hearings we have one public hearing ordinance number 22-006 this is what i would call a cleanup ordinance i'll read the title and you can see what i mean amending palmer municipal code section 17-08.260 corner lot 17.60.055 exceptions for setbacks, adding food bank in commercial land use matrix 17.28.020, adding sections 17.08.256 lot classification diagram, 17.08268 flag lot, and deleting sections 15.08.3103 temporary buildings and structures. 17.08.398 senior citizen. So I believe that's cleaning up a lot of our language, adding things into zones that we hadn't accounted for in the past and uh, updating or deleting some of the old things as well as updating some of the language. Next we have action memorandums. Uh, there's a few of those. Action memorandum number 22-050. Authorizing the city manager to negotiate and enter to a contract with HDO engineering consultants for $51,509 for doing survey, mapping, design, and bill assistance for a paved pathway along Evergreen Ave and Airport Road. And basically that will connect the South Gulcana Street and Arctic Ave, the old Glen Highway. Then there's action memorandum number 22-051, authorizing the city manager to negotiate and enter into a contract with Otna Construction uh, not to exceed $7.9 million for the construction of taxway N November, improve airport drainage and construct apron E as an echo and an additive alternate one. Then there's an action memorandum number 22-052, uh, authorized the city manager to initiate a library courtyard improvement concept design and implementation process to include community meetings, fundraising, and project costing. Government and their titles, my, my. Also, there's action memorandum letter 22-053, authorizing the city manager to negotiate and enter into a contract with JTA Construction in the amount not to exceed of $120,320 for Eagle Avenue drainage improvements. Uh, locals may remember we had uh, a little bit of Eagle Glacier happening last winter, and so this is... Uh, a project to try to uh, not let that happen again. And also there's an action memorandum number 22-054 authorizing utility connection for quantum laundry lounge 
located at 2151 South Woodroop Loop, Woodworth Loop, Palmer, Alaska. So in the packet, I have a uh, mayor's report for September 13th. Um, mentioned the uh, vacancy on the Parks and Rec Board from the resignation of one of our members who um, went over to planning and zoning. Um, I also talk a bit about homelessness. We've had a few meetings and I've helped host some of those meetings talking about homelessness and how we can be addressing these concerns. Uh, there's a little bit to it and the, my, my report's actually a couple pages and talks about housing and uh, there's, there's some housing being built and as far as coming up with um, not just homelessness, but housing that's affordable for people in the Matsu. And one of the, one of the things I'm kind of concerned about is um, I think we need to be having a discussion about homelessness, but also be remembering to have safety net discussions at the same time of how, how do we keep our community safe and how do we um, work with the, those that are homeless and keeping them safe as well. And then I mentioned upcoming events. Uh, there's uh, Pyro's Pioneer Peak Farm has a Fall Harvest Festival, September 10th, 17th, and 24th. Mondays are the Happy Run, uh, put on by Active Souls Performance with Footwear. Uh, Greater Palmer Chamber of Commerce Lunch is Wednesday, September 14th. And September 24th is the 14th Annual Matsu Emergency Preparedness Expo. I believe that's over in Wasilla from 10 to 3 on that Saturday. So this has been Mayor Steve Carrington bringing you five days into the future for our September 13th, 2022 Palmer City Council meeting. We'll see you there at 6 o'clock.